Hello, my name is Nyara Tuchaurua of My Money Project. And to this, today I decided to share with you uh, a scripture which I read in the morning coming from the book of Luke chapter 16 verse 11. And it is a scripture that, um, that I found to be so powerful. These are the words of Jesus and he was speaking to his disciples. And he said, so if you have not been trustworthy in worldly wealth or in handling worldly wealth, um, who will trust you with true riches? Um, so if you have not been um, trustworthy in worldly wealth, or if you have not been trustworthy in the little that you have, who then will trust you with, uh, with more riches? Who will trust you with more? And as I read that, it just revealed to me, it, it revealed to me that how you manage your money is a test of your character. So how you, you manage your money is the true test of your character. From there, we can really see. And when we talk of um, um, uh, money or how you manage your money being a true test of your character is because money reveals or money brings out that which already is within you. So if you are very stingy when you don't have money, don't expect to be generous when you finally have money. So when you are stingy and when you finally get money, you will become more stingy. If you've been unfaithful with very little, when you have more, you will become a very um, unfaithful. So I want to talk a little bit more about the word trustworthy. And when you look at it, the dictionary meaning of trustworthy, it says, can you be relied on? as honest and truthful. Actually, that's me just saying that. But trustworthy is being relied on as honest and um, truthful. So when we talk of honest, another word for honest or, um, or, or, or trustworthy is integrity. And integrity speaks of strong moral principle. Talks of how principled you are, how strong moral principle you know, do you have that? So I will just give you a few examples. And this is a question that you will have to answer honestly with yourself. So what would you do? Maybe let me present a few scenarios. Let's say you are given change. You've gone to shop. You've handed uh, in a $10. And you're supposed to get $1 change. But maybe the shopkeeper does, doesn't really notice that he's giving you $10 back. What would you do? Would you give him back? Would you take that money? Would you take the extra change that is not yours? Strong moral principles. What would you do? What would you do if someone in front of you drops um, a $20 note or a $100 note? What would you do? Would you hand it back to them? Or would you be... Like, praise God, I finally found money. What would you do? What would your moral principle tell you to do? Another example, what if someone comes and bribes you to give them something that you know you are not supposed to, but because they have offered you some money, what would you do? Would you say yes? Would you still stick to your guns and say no? So trustworthiness. If you cannot be trusted with little, how much more will you be trusted when you have more? So this is food for thought. And I thought really I would challenge uh, each I would challenge each other today and say, let us learn to be good managers of our money with the little that you have. If you can manage it and if you can be trusted, I tell you, even if you are to be entrusted with a nation, to be entrusted with a bigger organization, you can do so much better. So then how you manage your money is the true test of your character. Have a lovely day.